what's up everybody today we're installing fallout 3 on windows 10 first thing we want to do is go through the initial installation in steam click play so it goes through the process get us to this window we're not going to launch the game or messing around with anything yet go ahead and exit out of it we're going to right click on fallout 3 go to properties local files browse local files what we're doing in here is we're going to set up compatibility mode for the launcher and the game itself. We can do this by selecting the file. We're going to do the launcher first. Right click, properties, compatibility. We want to do run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. We're also going to select run this program as administrator. Now we're going to go do the same thing for the Fallout 3 application. Right click, properties, compatibility tab. Running compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and run as administrator. Let's go ahead and close out of that and close out of that and we're good to go here. Next thing that we want to do is we have to install games for Windows Live. Part of it is installed in the initial installation process for the game, but unfortunately it doesn't install everything. Go ahead and pull up whatever search engine you use. We're going to look for games for Windows Live. First link that comes up here, download games for Windows Client. Select that. Take us right here to xbox.com page. We're going to download. See here the uh, GFW Live setup. Run that. So go ahead and install everything that's not found. We do not need to launch it. We can just go ahead and close it. Close the page. And now uh, Games for Windows Live is installed. All we need to do at this point is click play. Game will come up. We got the launcher here. Click play. Give it a second for the game to load. And here we go. Game's running. You shouldn't run into any issues. I haven't ran into any issues. Game seems to run fine. Let's see. Go ahead and quit out here. Yep. This is the base installation of the game. Uh, I always recommend that you do that first. Make sure everything's running perfectly fine and you're not running any problems. Make sure it's stable before you start making any changes, installing any mods or add-ons that way when something does break if it does break you can just undo those changes and everything will work right you know exactly where to go and what to look for to troubleshoot the issue if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them in the comments field below if you like the video and want to see more don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out some of the links I have down in the info section and thanks for watching